Holy shit, I look like I just woke up. I fucking did. Look at my look at that. That's my dog's hair right there. Fucking Bella. Anyways. Yo, you know what I noticed? So I downloaded the BBC app yesterday. And I downloaded like uh CNN, Fox. I just wanna keep up with the news, see what's going on. See if one day an alert comes up on my phone that we're under fucking attack. Or that it's a zombie apocalypse. I, I would like to know first before anybody. Yo. The BBC gets world news, right? For the most part. Yo, they gave a lot of interesting news yesterday. Like, I heard about this very briefly through the CNN app uh, about two days ago. But no, no follow-up report at all about the Irish guy who was driving through England with 39 fucking dead bodies in his cargo who now turned out to be Chinese nationalists which and they weren't yo these people were in a fucking freezer I don't know what kind of shit this means this is some crazy shit I don't think this type of shit uh, uh, occurs too much over here but that's some extreme shit. Why are you driving through in a fucking freezer? Is that like smuggling people? Is that the way they do it over there? I don't know. It's really, really interesting. It's more interesting to note that the apps that I downloaded that are like American-based news don't give a fuck. There was no follow-up. And the BBC was just quick as hell with like, I guess because it's happening over there. I don't know. But then I read some other news over there. About South America and all this shit. And they were pretty... Like, I got a white head right there. This is real shit. Yeah, man. Yo. I'm going to tell you some shit. <laughs> this, this was my first idea when, when I thought about it. When I saw the guy's face. The mug shot. Well, not the mug shot. The picture that, that he just had of... of like well, I think it was a selfie. It looked like a fucking mug shot. That's what the first thing I thought of. I'm like, this motherfucker is ready to go to jail. Like a fucking psycho. Yo, how do you, even if they knowingly went into a fucking freezer, how do you drive any type of vehicle knowing you have 39 people in a fucking freezer, in the bag, in your cargo? Like, this is some evil shit. And I hate to say it. And I'm pretty sure there's instances where other type of people have got caught doing this. I'm sure there is. I'm not positive there is. I'm not going to say there is. But I'm sure if it does come up, I wouldn't be surprised. But this motherfucker, yo. This something special about <laughs> these type of people. Read into what I'm saying. I don't want to say it. That, yo, no heart, no soul, yo. You just see it in their eyes. Like, what the fuck? Who, yo, who would take that kind of fucking job? How much are they paying for you to do some shit like that? It's, it can't be worth it to put that many human lives at risk. If anybody with a fucking conscience. That's just me. But. Those people continue to be the fucking most atrocious. Fucking type of human scum. When they want to be hope not all it's something deep in their fucking dna man like why are most serial killers you know like people who do fucking brutality crimes like murder their whole family and kill their moms and all this other crazy shit i'll just never understand that i'm not saying all it's impossible. You can't say all. Oh. It's like kind of like saying, "Damn, I don't even know." That's I'm just I, I had to be honest. That's the first thing I thought when I saw the picture. I was not surprised. That's a bad thing. Not surprised at all that that type of person did this. <laughs>